A Dream of Nanko Idiom Story In the Tang Dynasty, during a bountiful harvest year, there was a renowned wine connoisseur named Chun Yu Fen. His drinking prowess was unmatched, and many called him the King of Wines. One day, after a particularly intoxicating wine contest, he returned home stumbling and feeling rather unwell. He laid down on a beautifully carved daybed in the corridor and dozed off. In his dream, a king from a distant land called Huayan Kingdom personally sent messengers to welcome him. To his surprise, the king wanted to marry his beloved princess to Chun Yu Fen. Can you imagine such a delightful proposition? Of course, he accepted. He followed the messengers to this Huayan Kingdom, where everything was grand and majestic. He was treated like royalty, enjoying all sorts of privileges, living a life fit for a celestial being. However, back in the real world, Chun Yu's wife had her doubts. Her husband seemed to be living carefree, and that simply wouldn't do. She urged him to take on some administrative responsibilities. Coincidentally, the neighboring Nanko County needed a capable magistrate to govern, and the king appointed him. With a grand procession of family, friends, servants, and luggage, Chun Yu Fen left the capital in a magnificent manner. During his 20-year tenure in Nanko County, Chun Yu Fen governed with exceptional wisdom and benevolence. The people praised his good governance, and in his honor, they even built a temple to commemorate this extraordinary magistrate. The king was also impressed, rewarding him with riches and promotions. His dear friend Zhou Bian also benefited greatly from Chun Yu's recommendation, rising through the ranks. Over the years, Chun Yu Fen's family grew, with five sons and two daughters, all enjoying prosperous lives. With sons holding esteemed positions and daughters marrying into royal families, he had reached the pinnacle of life. Alas, fate has a peculiar way of dealing blows. Twenty years later, the neighboring Tanlo Kingdom invaded Nanko County. Chun Yu Fen led the resistance, but alas, he suffered a defeat. To add to his grief, his dear friend Zhou Bian fell in battle. To make matters worse, his wife fell seriously ill and soon passed away. Unable to bear the string of misfortunes, Chun Yu Fen lost all interest in Nanko County. Resolutely, he resigned from his position and returned to the capital with his wife's casket. However, upon his arrival, false rumors reached the king's ears, and in a fit of anger, the king sent him back to his hometown. It was truly disheartening. Those who had welcomed him so warmly in Huayan Kingdom seemed to have lost all interest in him now. Once again, he realized that it was all but a dream. Upon leaving Huayan Kingdom, Chun Yu Fen felt a deep sense of melancholy. However, he suddenly awakened to the realization that it was all a vivid dream. Truly, it was just a dream of Nanko. You know what, they say, dream of Nanko is used to describe when someone dreams of a great fortune, but awakens to find it was all in vain, like a bubble burst. This dream of Chun Yu Fen's was a bit too much, even a princess. That's like the dream of a dream lover's wildest fantasy. Fortunately, he came to his senses, proving his worth even in dreams. In the future, we must remind our tipsy friend Chun Yu not to indulge in such fanciful dreams. But hey, life is all about dreams. Better to dream than not to dream. Sometimes, it's quite entertaining, just like Chun Yu Fan's dream, which has become a celebrated tale. So, dear audience, should we each chase our own dream of Nanko? Absolutely. Remember, dreams within dreams. Life is meant to be enjoyed. Cheers.